You have to trust me. You have to trust me that I'm going to help you. I trust you. We're building trust here. I want to help you. Okay, we're all here for the same reason. We all need to talk about our problems and find our inner selves. So, before we begin, I want everyone to close their eyes and take a deep breath. Good. Channel that breath to the cheek of your inner child. Now imagine that child in a cage. And the cage is your problems. And by talking about your problems, together we'll find a key to open that cage. Mike, I really don't think this is going to do anything for our problems. No kidding. I don't even know these people. My problem's a bit, you know, personal. Well, if you're going to find that key that allows your inner child to go free, we have to learn to trust one another. We must build a trust bridge. Imagine each piece of information you provide one another as a brick, a brick of trust, if you will. And each of you will help create this beautiful bridge that your inner child can cross once it's free from the cage. Now, Who'd like to place the first break on our bridge? This isn't going to do anything for anyone. Give me a break. No, Janice. Thoughts like that simply don't belong in an environment such as this. I mean, we're here to work together, to free your inner child. Let's start building that bridge. Michael. Yes, Janice. I'd like to go first. All right. Very good. Tell us about yourself, James, and we won't interrupt. Okay. Uh, where to start? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. You know, there's a lot of pressure on vampires these days. <laughs> I mean, the media has built us up to be uh, monsters. Okay. If your definition of a monster is someone who sucks other people's blood, all right, you got me there, but... <laughs> do you know the kind of peer pressure that is within the culture of vampires? I mean, give me a break. Gloom and doom and black and cobwebs and coffins all over the place. That is just not for me. All that gothic stuff. Oh, come on. I mean, all those other vampires are saying things like, James, vampires don't wear pastels. <laughs> or, James, vampires can't hold date jobs as hairdressers. <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> I mean, they didn't even want me to keep my kitten. They said a vampire with a cat named Snookums just doesn't strike terror into the hearts of mortals. <laughs> I don't get it. These people are going to live forever. And do you know how they party? They sit around and complain about garlic and crosses and steaks. They don't talk about politics. They don't talk about human rights violations. They don't talk about endangered species. They don't talk about anything that's important. <laughs> they think it's fun to talk about fangs and how fast they can turn into bats. <laughs> bats! Did you know that bats have fleas? <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to get fleas out of your hair when you change back? <laughs> and this whole seductive thing? People think that kind of stuff is cool. You know what happens when you hypnotize people? They're no fun 
to talk to anymore. They're like um, uh, zombies. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. My God, these people are going to live forever. You would think they would not get so stressed out. And the tempers those people have. If the pizza boy puts anchovies on the pizza, and they didn't order anchovies, they'll put the pizza boy on the pizza. <laughs> if someone sneezes the wrong way, they go berserk like a rabid dog or something. <laughs> Most of them seriously need to deal with their anger management issues. I'll tell you, a lot of people think being a vampire is cool. Well, it's not. Being a vampire sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, any responses? He's right. Please suck. <laughs> Urges, you know? What kind of urges? It's embarrassing. Well, we're friends here. Tell us. <laughs> yeah. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I want to pee on fire hydrants. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I want to sit the ground and have them first. Sometimes I want to sniff dogs and sometimes people's butts. <laughs> 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 Yeah, what about your problem? 
we're building a trust bridge. I don't want to talk about my problem with a couple of freaks like you. We're not freaks. We're special. <laughs> okay, Jen. Imagine your head and your aura and your chi. Imagine them as a spiritual conduit. At one end is your spiritual <coughs> self, your aura and your chi. At the other end is your inner child locked in a cage, begging to be free. There's a blockade in that conduit, Janet. Talk to us. Help us find a way to remove that blockade. Yeah. Talk to us. We won't be rude. You're special, too. OK. OK. I'm, I'm falling apart. Like, literally. I'm totally falling apart. This morning, I was trying to do my nails, and one fell off. I tried to put on lipstick and remembered that I don't have lips anymore. My hair is falling out. My breasts are totally sagging. Any day now, they're going to just fall off. When I was alive, I was a cheerleader and a beauty pageant queen. I used to like, get a little nip and talk here and there. Plastic surgery, you know. Anyway, these days, I buy plastic surgery in a bottle of super glue. <laughs> That's the only reason I have a nose right now. I glued it back on when it fell off. Anyway, guys don't look at me anymore. They're like, gross, I don't want to do it with a dead chick. <laughs> or gross, she eats people. I don't want her to go down on me. <laughs> or gross, you smell like a rotting animal. That can be a good smell sometimes. <laughs> I like stiffs. <laughs> don't you get it? I can't get a guy to fall for me anymore. You try the dog pound. When I'm feeling hot, I always go to the pound. Oh, uh, the morgue is a good place, too. No, that's no good. I need a guy who's strong, sensitive, alive, and fertile, violent, and hungry. I want to share my meals with him. I want to have someone help me haunt some old house somewhere. How oh, romantic! <laughs> so, anyway, I placed a personal ad. You know, it said, mature looking girl, wild in bed, looking for a strong, sensitive man who knows how to please a woman, must be willing to kill, torture, and cannibalize for me. Perhaps you should have left the kill, torture, and cannibalize part out. I think it's good. Oh, very good. <laughs> uh, very good. But do you think mature is a very good synonym for rotting? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Someone called. Really? Uh, maybe I should place an ad too. Pale, muscular man, loves wine and blood. Will suck you to rock. <laughs> <laughs> hairy man looking for hairy woman. Big teeth and love of raw meat. Must love pups and be in heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you call him back? Yeah, yeah did, did you call, call him? him? Not yet. Well, what was his name? What did he say? His name's Frank. And where's he from? He's from. Transylvania? <laughs> I think his last name is Stein. <laughs> Frank Stein. Uh, that's a good place to be from, but not a good place to live, let me tell you. Frank Stein. Well, the question is, are you going to call him? You should call. Yeah, you should call him. OK. OK. I'll do it. 
Um, yeah, hello. Can I speak to Frank Stein, please? <coughs> Hi, Frank. This is Janet. Yes, the Janet from the newspaper. What am I wearing right now? <laughs> Just to see through Teddy. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, I can meet you. The sushi bar downtown? Well, yes, I agree. Those men behind the bar look delicious. We'll split one. <laughs> I just love to suck the marrow right out of the bones. Football arms, huh? Oh, yes. I'll see you later, big boy. <laughs> that was totally great. I got a date with a hot guy. Not only that, he says he's built like a football player. In fact, his arms used to be on a football player. <laughs> I can't wait. Well, well, we've definitely placed some blocks on our trust bridge and begun to develop a serious relationship with your inner child. It's just a matter of time before the keys in the lock and that ugly little guy goes free. Whoa. Hold on here, Michael. Did you just call my inner child ugly? Uh, but no, I, uh... It sounded to me like that's what he said. But I, I, I was simply trying to point out that you people have... Why did you pause on people there, Mike? You weren't going to call us something else, were you? What, what, what dog? I, where'd you get a fruity idea like that? Are you making fun of my sexuality? <laughs> you didn't just say dog line, did you? I mean, you weren't trying to give me a command, were you? Oh, you're in so much trouble. Dog line, huh? Thanks for the help, Mike. But now we gotta eat ya. He is a tasty looking man, isn't he? I wouldn't mind sucking on him a bit. Are you boys hungry? I've had shrimp, but never shrink. I can put that right. But no, no, wait. Uh, no, people, I was only trying to help you. And you're, you're demolishing the trust bridge I built for us right now. See, there goes a brick. And there goes another one. He never stops talking, does he? I mean, there's hardly any bricks left. There goes another, and another. 